Hello everyone, welcome to a new sketchbook tour. Thank you for being here again with me. Today we are going to see the sketchbook that I use to paint outside. I always have a sketchbook only for painting outside because when I finish it, it's like an album of memories of the places where I've been painting. Normally I would include paintings from my travels as well, but due to the impossibility of traveling the last two years, these watercolors are only from Madrid. This is an Stillman and Bill beta sketchbook that I really like because the paper is super thick, about 270 grams, and it works very well for watercolor. This first watercolor is about two bridges that are identical and uh, because of that they are called the twin bridges. They are here in Madrid on the Manzanares River and they have this original structure with these metal braces and in the upper part, although here you can, you can see it, it has a very pretty mosaic. These two bridges are in an area here in Madrid known as Matadero because it used to be the municipal slaughterhouse but now is a cultural facility for exhibitions, events, etc. This second watercolor is the glass palace here in Madrid. It's located in the Retiro Park and is a metal and glass structure from 1887 that was built for an exhibition and today the interior is used for contemporary art exhibitions. This is the back of the palace and this one was a little complicated because painting glass is very difficult. It is difficult to preserve the sensation of transparency and also, well, it, it was very ornate and well, that made it very complicated to paint. This other watercolor is about a telecommunications tower that is here in Madrid in a park and is from 1981. It has that somewhat old-fashioned look that makes it funnier to paint, more original. This tower emits television and radio as well. And as you can see, I have painted so many trees because I love painting trees. And you can see the tower only in the background. This watercolor is about a unique tree that is located in the Retiro Park here in Madrid. And is one of the oldest trees in Madrid. The name of this tree is Ahuehuete. That means old man of the water because that refers to its ecological environment because it lives in aquatic environments near streams and swamps. Some experts say that this tree would be around the year 800, therefore is one of the oldest trees in Madrid. The painting was a little complicated because this tree has many very small and fine leaves and this was a bit difficult to paint. Also, everything is green, so it was a very difficult painting. This watercolor is from a contemporary art exhibition. This exhibition was in a tobacco factory. This factory is now used as an exhibition center for contemporary art exhibition. And there was this exhibition with these large sculptures. These sculptures were from the sculptor Francisco Leiro and I think they were super original, not the usual sculptures you can see. This other watercolor is the Almudena Cathedral, which is a Catholic temple here in the center of Madrid. And the Almudena is the patron saint of the city of Madrid. But this cathedral is relatively modern because it was built on an old church and it was not finished until practically the 19th. This watercolor was especially complicated because, as you can see, the structure is super complicated. 
it has so many elements and well I tried to simplify it by doing it from this viewpoint that is farther away and what you are seeing is uh, not the front of the cathedral is the side of the cathedral this watercolor is about an animated decoration that is put up every christmas on the facade of a shopping center here in the center of madrid each year has a different theme because it's made for children and has movement and music and it's a bit a tradition here in Madrid to take the children to see Cortilandia because it changes every year and well this one was really fun to paint because, because it's a totally different thing to paint because it has movement and very bright colors and this really brings memories from my childhood and it was very fun to paint. This was a musical rehearsal to which we were invited by this group. We were invited to see the performance and to paint while they played and it was very interesting on one hand to paint and listen to music. The complication of this one was that obviously people were in movement and it was not not easy to paint people playing an instrument. Also in this one I did the drawing with ink and then I applied the watercolor. This other watercolor is about an exhibition of nativity scenes in the African Museum here in Madrid. These nativity scenes are brought from all over the world. They are completely different and original. And I chose this nativity scene from Russia because I love the colors. I thought it was very nice and original. I love the rounded figures. This is another concert to which we were invited. In this case, an acoustic concert by a group from Madrid. And we were painting while they played some of their songs, while they rehearsed. And well, I painted one of the musicians and one of the instruments. Also, I first did the drawing with ink and then add the watercolor. This other watercolor is about the pharmacy museum that is located in the pharmacy faculty here in Madrid and this pharmacy museum in addition to having typical pharmacy objects it has reproductions of pharmacies from different periods of history this one in particular for example is from the 19th century I like it this one because it had all the different pharmacy objects, containers, the old cash reg register, the door with the window and the walls with all the co different colors. Also, they told us the story of each pharmacy and it was a very nice experience. This watercolor is from the Costume Museum here in Madrid and in this case it had a exhibition of various herbariums with photos and reproductions in papier mache and resin of different plants, seeds, etc. And they invited us to go and do these models of plants. And it was a, well, a completely different thing to paint. This one are just some trees in the park here in the gardens of the Royal Palace. I made a video on how to paint these trees in another YouTube video. If you want to see it, I'll leave it up so you can watch it too. And you know, I love painting trees, so I made this and I was very happy. This is another place in the Retiro Park. In this case, it is a fountain known as the Fountain of the Seagulls. And I don't know if you can appreciate it, but there are some seagulls as if they were flying over the pond. 
it was also autumn so i painted all the all these warm tones in the background and this was what came out i was happy it was a nice day this was from another painting group called storefronts of madrid that is dedicated to painting shop windows that are centenarians that are more than 100 years old and that have preserved at least the facade as it was originally. In this case is a barber shop. I don't know if you can see it, but it was open in 1900 and well, it's the typical old barber shop. It's not only the facade, the inside is also with the vintage style. Everything is antique, the furniture, the furniture and everything. You have also seen this one in another video. It's the terrace of the Madrid City Hall that has a view over Calle Alcalá, which is very famous and has some very beautiful old buildings. And this is the view of the street from the terrace and the statues and the sculptures that the town hall itself has on its terrace. It was a little complicated to paint all these buildings with so many windows etc. So I tried to simplify it as much as possible just by making only the shapes. This is a 15th century castle here in Madrid. There is also a YouTube video about this one if you are interested. The name of the castle is Alameda Castle and it was very special to paint a castle that is so old and within the city of Madrid. As you can see is a bit in ruins, um, very little remains of the original structure but it was very interesting to paint this one. And in this one I also use a little bit of colored pencils over the watercolor. This is another watercolor you also show me painting in another YouTube video. It's about an illustration exhibition in the City Hall here in Madrid. Different illustrators showed their visions of the city of Madrid. In this case, uh, they are two famous uh, authors two very famous Spanish writers, Valinclán and Gómez de la Serna, and they are painted by an illustrator named Mar Ferrero. This kind of cardboard structure, I will leave the link if you want to see it, how I paint it. This watercolor is here in Madrid, in the center of Madrid, is one of the metro stations. This one used to have a very nice pavilion that was later removed and now has been restored by making a replica of the original pavilion. The original one was made by the architect Antonio Palacios and this new one has put it exactly in the same place. So we went there and painted this one was a bit complicated because the whole pavilion is made of grey stone and it was a little difficult to see the different shapes and volumes and it was a bit bland so I put the McDonald's in the back. In that way I had a bit of contrast between the old and the modern. This watercolor is the fountain of the Lozoya River is also in the center of Madrid, is an ornamental fountain, is made of stone and brick. It was inaugurated in 1858. It's like very old and the difficulty was that the fountain was very close to us. So we didn't have perspective to see the whole fountain, but I think at the end it, it was not very bad. Here we have another church, in this case it is the Church of Santa Barbara. It is also in the center of Madrid. It is from 1758 and it has three porticos. The fa facade is quite complicated, so I only did half the facade 
and a little of the staircase that seemed to me the most characteristic things and I tried to simplify as much as possible. I left a lot of white around it for the watercolor to breathe. <laughs> that day we had the coincidence that there was a wedding which made it a very entertaining day. This is Mercado de Pacifico, is a traditional market and once we were there everyone decided which style we wanted to paint and as you know I love color so I paint this fruit and vegetable stall including the clerk that she was very very excited to be painted. They also put a seal on every watercolor to certify that we were there. This was a very different experience I, and I enjoyed it a lot. This watercolor is from a, a modern area here in Madrid. Let's say it's the financial area where all the buildings are modern glass skyscrapers. This area is called Azca. Um, it was a little complicated because all the buildings had more or less the same colors. So I decided to paint all these trees in the foreground to give it a little color. This is a square called Plaza de Ramales, which is from 1800, also in the center of Madrid. This is the old area of Madrid. This plaza is quite complex. It has a lot of different buildings and I choose to make this building simpler with the dome of the church in the back. It also has this monolith that is dedicated to Diego Velázquez, the famous Spanish painter, because he was buried for a time in a church that no longer exists here. The difficulty was to simplify the scene and don't paint too much detail. For example, there were many umbrellas and I decided to remove and left only these two. And there was another building that was next, next to these ones and that was too much, so I didn't put it either. And finally, we have the Las Ventas Bullring which is the largest in Spain and the third largest in the world. It was built in 1929. It has a neo-mudejar style. In addition to bullfighting, today is used for cultural events like concerts, presentation, markets. It was difficult to paint because it has a lot of windows, decoration and it was a bit difficult to simplify. Another difficulty is that the building is huge, so it was very difficult to put everything on the page. And these are all the paintings that I have done in this sketchbook from 2019 until now, 2022. Usually these sketchbooks don't last me that long, but these last two years have not been normal at all. We have not been able to go to paint practically anywhere. I hope you enjoy it a lot and that you are encouraged to paint outside. And thank you very much for watching as always. And see you very soon in the next video. Bye!